Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has seven scriptures. They're all taken from the King James Version of the Bible. The first six I will recite for you now and the last one will be at the end of this prophetic word in a separate video. The first scripture is a book of Psalms, Psalm 50 verses 14 through 23 and it reads, Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentedest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise, glorify me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I shew the salvation of God. The second scripture is the book of Psalm, Psalm 83, the entire psalm, and it reads... Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may not be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Assur also is joined with them. They have Open the, the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kison, which perished at Endor. They became, came as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb. Yea, all their princes as Ziba and as Zalmuna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a wheel, as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burneth a wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever, yea. Let them be put to shame and perish, that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the Most High over all the earth. Third scripture is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse 8, and it reads, and the spoiler shall come upon every city, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord hath spoken. The fourth scripture is the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verses 36 through 45, and it reads, And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself, above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. 
Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces, and the God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain. And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab, and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver, and over all the precious things of Egypt, and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas in the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him. The fifth scripture is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. And it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth the land, is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness yea and nothing shall escape them the sixth scripture is the book of luke chapter 21 verses 25 through 28 and it reads and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh now for the message received from the lord god on September 15th, 2024. The will of the people, the will of the people, it will not be honored. It will not be answered for the wickedness that is seated in high places. The race, the presidential election, the race for a new leader shall not go forth. There is too much chaos in the political theater. There is too much drama and bravado. The democracy of the once great country of the USA is pulling apart now. The fabric has been stretched far beyond its limits. It can only withhold so much division. Without compromise or respect for one another, the parties will lash out and forget what a sound democracy is all about. All the powerful want is to remain in their place of authority. 
the majority of the population in the middle class only need a fair chance to lift themselves up onto a firm foundation. The poor are drowning. Their heads keep sinking underneath the water's surface. They bob up and down for a breath of air, and then someone floating on a raft is pushing their heads back under the water again so they can't see them suffering. This election, this presidential election, is not happening, my beloved daughter. There are too many things that are urgently removing the focus from a free-thinking democratic society to one that is defending the coastal borders from foreigners ready to invade. All it will take is one military move against these countries in opposition to you, America, and you will be through. You will defend your friend, Israel, but then the others will take offense to this. They will defend their allies too. There are no easy answers and your options are few, America. You are spread way too thin to win any kind of a military confrontation. They will be all over you. Their armies are so much better equipped than you, America. You have given all of your ammunition and weaponry to countries who are willing to do your dirty work. You didn't want to get your hands dirty, but it was inevitable since everyone knows it was you behind all of these wartime offerings. They knew you were the ones, along with NATO, who were truly pulling the strings. This time, America, you are in dire straits. Don't think that anyone will be coming to your aid anytime soon. No, they are bold with you at the forefront, but once they are aware of your weak underbelly and how unprepared you are, they will be running far away with their tails tucked between their legs. They will watch from afar off and marvel at how quickly you will be destroyed. They don't have the capability to stand up to these two powerhouses militarily. The Russians and Chinese are a formidable duo. They know exactly where to go, where your underbelly is showing. They are growing more and more angry of your superiority over them. It's time they teach you a lesson. They no longer want to listen to you telling them what to do. They are laughing at you from behind closed doors. They say you cannot even control your own people. So how can you impose your will upon others? They say their way of governing society is the best. One ruler dictates his will and the rest fall in line behind him or are imprisoned for not towing the line. They say your democracy is crumbling and they will ensure its demise. My beloved children, please listen to me and know your country of the USA is in great jeopardy. There is a peril which you do not yet see that is hidden in the skies above. 
It is being obscured by man-made cloud coverage. It is a planetary system I call my destroyer. It is hidden for now, but not for long. There will be a time when this system will be too close to hide away. It is bringing with it space debris. Meteor showers will start to fly by, lasting for hours. All eyes will be open to see what's really up there in the skies. The planets will bring about an eclipse lasting for three days and nights. It will surprise and shock everyone. Then I will be coming for my first fruits of the harvest. It won't be long now. Make a solemn vow to be mine right away, and I will swoop right in to save the day. I will take you away from these disasters without delay once you praise and honor me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My blood sacrifice is sufficient to cover your sins but you must first let me into your hearts and minds. Believe I'm your blessed hope, and all will be fine when I take you away from these storms ahead. With everlasting love, Jesus, your only escape plan off of planet Earth. Standing afar off, or the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 10.